Hello everyone, and welcome back to Modern Sky Block 3. Since last time, you may notice a couple things already going on in my inventory. Namely, that I now have 14 hearts. Aw, yeah. I just sat over here, made food, and ate it, and sat over there, ate food, made it again. Kept doing that until I had enough for 14 hearts. And then I stopped. But I might keep going at some point in the future. I don't know yet. I also have gone ahead and made all 16 of the magic hand mirrors that we need in order to complete this quest. Along with 256 magical wood. I'm not sure if I have 256 magical wood right now. I do not. Uh, but I will at some point because this is very full. <laughs> I really need this faster. But we'll be able to get that pretty soon, I think, actually. So, in this episode, we're going to start off here with the thermal thermal machinery quests. So, I have no intention of ever using any of these machines, really, because I don't really need to. <laughs> because I already have stuff from immersive engineering that works. I already have stuff from mechanism that works. And Ender.io is just a better mod, but uh, it's still here, so I might as well, you know, go ahead and make stuff, because it's all super cheap. So I can make a bunch of stuff, because um, there's a lot of things available. So, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and craft everything. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to craft everything, everything, but I will craft a lot of the things here because it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> like some of the things, this growing with power thing, that's the uh, phyto grower thing that might be used. I know I need the magma crucible and I need the fluid transposer in order to make the uh, resin and flux ducts. But other than that, I don't need anything from this mod because I already have the lumium that I need to progress. So, <laughs> I will go ahead and get cracking on all of these things, and once I have that, we'll be back. Alright, so, now that considerable time has passed, we have all of these machines, and this much of the quest book has been completed. This, I will maybe do at some point, I don't know. <laughs> and this requires trees, and I don't feel like doing that. And this isn't even unlocked yet, because I have to do this quest first, but that will come later. So, really, the only two machines we needed from this mod are the Fluid Transposer and the Magma Crucible. And that's liter literally it. Like, we don't need any more. Um, so, in the Magma Crucible, we stick in something like Redstone. And it has no power. <laughs> so, you just stick Redstone in with power, and it will be melted into destabilized Redstone. And I have it set to where this automatically outputs into the Fluid Transposer. Now that I have these redstone energy flux ducts, I stick them into there, and they will become redstone energy flux ducts. Then I take these, combine it with signalum to make signalum flux ducts, and then combine those with enderium to make resonant flux ducts. I need 64 of these, and then we can move on to ender IO. So, this will do its thing. <laughs> It'll take a while, uh, so I'm just going to let it go um, over time and, you know, periodically restock that. But, in the meantime, we have gotten four stacks of brown artificial dye, which is 256, and... Is that how much we needed? Or how much how much lumium for that one quest? Not that one. You. 128 lumium is very easy to come by, thanks to our wonderful chickens, which is also where we're getting both signalum and enderium from. Uh, but thanks to our wonderful chickens, we have two stacks of lumium already. And we can go ahead and move on with this. Beautiful. And now the Thermal Enhancements questline has been unlocked. Which means that, yes, we can now go back and not do that yet for some reason. Um, I have to complete it. I guess I have to complete it. These are interesting. <laughs> They're hard to come by. Um, yeah. 
I don't really want to make any of these because I don't think I need to for anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, none of these require thermal enhancements. A lot of them do require ender machinery though, so probably won't be doing much of these because there is really no point. Like there's just just no point. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will let all of these uh, pipes finish and yeah I guess that's gonna be that um, I can also um, mm, uh, I don't know <laughs> I need to make this lapatronic orb pack which means I need iridium and that will require a lot of tech reborn stuff but we can do that at a later date <laughs> ender IO is my next main goal to reach um, and it's pretty close. We just need this to finish up, and then we can start Ender I.O. Alright, while the pipes have not yet finished, I have collected the resources needed to complete this quest. And now we can go to the Aether! Oh boy. I don't know how much has changed since we visited it in the Unabridged series even though that was a very long time ago and in a very old version. So I don't know how much the Aether has changed. Um, so I suppose we'll have to see that <laughs> uh, when we get there. But also, open blocks is unlocked, and so is this vacuum hopper, which I have been missing, <laughs> because this is an amazing block, and... I haven't found anything that does a better job than it does. Like, honestly. It's so good at what it does. Collects items and experience for free. And Enderio is the vacuum chest, which is also really good. Uh, but still. <coughs> Rotating elevator. I don't know what that is. Um, Open Box is just a good mod in general, and I like it. Um, granted, a lot of this stuff is not useful to me at the moment, uh, because... I don't really need luggage or, you know, sprinklers to water crops or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> but it is nice that I am able to use it if I decide that I want to. But, more importantly, the Aether. <clears throat> um, yeah, we can go there now. Alright, we can now come in here. Portal frame set up right there. Looks kind of awkward, but once we stick water in here, it's the Aether. Yeah, we can head on in, see what um, is waiting for us on the other side. Not sure what will change. Alright, we still start out in the sky, but I can fly, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, let's see, book, hang on, let me go on to Not Floating Island, because I'm super paranoid that I'm going to drop something off the edge. Okay. What is this? Book of Lore and a golden parachute. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's actually really cool. Okay. So you can glide from your portal if you want. You don't have to... Wait, these, these spawn here? Ooh, whoa. Um, what? Why? Why Why did grass just grow beneath me? Uh, scary. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, what am I doing? What do I need to do for the Aether quests? Need to get clouds and sanite and ambrosium. All right. Oh, and then the Valkyrie Queen. Kill the Valkyrie Queen and the Slider's Labyrinth. Okay. So I think stuff has changed because last time there was no such thing as the Slider's Labyrinth. We should make a waypoint here. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna make a waypoint. And we can start looking around to see if anything interesting appears. Well, it certainly didn't take very long for me to find something interesting. <laughs> There's a temple just sitting in the air. Okay. I guess guess we have to go to that now. It's like required by law. Must investigate. But first, collecting clouds. I know, exciting. Don't you just love collecting clouds? Just to verify that you have, in fact, been to the area that you, you know. Whoa. Got an achievement for that. Whoa, that's bouncy. Doing. <laughs> oh, that's where my item went. Okay, pick it up. Beautiful. 
Uh, okay, so we got some enemies here. Ow! Rude. You're just a fallen knight. I've seen you guys before. These are all things I've seen before, though. I just don't see very many of them on my world, cause, or in the overworld, because I light everything up. <laughs> um, this looks important. Feldspar. What is this? Is it just a gem? I guess it's just a gem. Um, hello? <laughs> Hellfire stone. You look scary. Eh. Hey, up. Duh. Ow. Jeez. Scared me. Ow. 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 Still going. Okay. Uh, what, what do I do with you? Item? Can I look at this? Oh, I can. Okay, that's cool. I can, like, look at what stuff does. 20 uses. Okay. Um. You are certainly a brave soul to have entered this chamber. Why do you say that? Do I have to talk to you again? Be gone, human. You serve no purpose here. What if I, what if I want to stay? The presence annoys me. Do you not fear my burning aura? Should I? Nothing to offer you, fool. Leave me at peace. Is there anything, any quests having to do with this guy? The sun spirit dude? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, I may look this guy up. Just to make sure that he's not going to, like, kill me or whatever. That's a sheep. It's a sheep off. <laughs> okay, interesting. And now on to the main event. <laughs> This large temple. It's very temple y. Incredi incredibly temple y, actually. Uh, what else did I need? I can claim a reward here, but yeah, whatever. Arrow Cloud. I need Quick Soil. Don't know what that is, but I do know what this is the temple. Wait, there's. Air. These, these crystals spawn in this generation. Or this place? Dang, this is like free Xanite stuff, torches, darts. Crazy, all for free? I'll. Jeez, that scared me. Holy cow. Oh my god. Ha. Huh. Oh, jeez. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> that scared pretty easily. That that scared me. I will admit, I was, I was, I was, uh, I was, uh, frightened. My jimmies were rustled by that. Also, do mimic mimics exist in this, right? If that's a thing. I think so any of these chests could just be a mimic. See, Mimic, hello. I know you're kind. Get out. You serve no purpose here. Oh, there's another one. Cool. So where is the Valkyrie Queen? When the Val uh, to be able to battle her... Oh, I need to obtain ten victory medals by killing Valkyries before I can fight the Victory Queen. Okay. What am I at? Ten. Okay. How do I do it? Do I have to find her now? Is that a thing? You can't mind. Oh, you. Hello. Hi. Yes, I have victory medals. Oh. I wish to fight you. Bring me ten medals. I'm ready. I have the medals. Now then, let's begin. Aha. I think this will be easy since I can, you know, fly. <laughs> yeah, you know how some people are like, Wow, I want to do it fairly, you know? I want to give the actual experience. That's not me. <laughs> I will fly, I will use this weapon, I don't care. What the heck is that? It looks like a shulker pearl. It's very annoying, and I don't like it. Oh, it's it's lightning. That That's cool. And she's dead. Ow. Lightning. Oh, what? Oh, you're a ghost. Ow, you disappeared. <clears throat> okay, was that, that was the whole thing? I guess so. Valkyrie Queen defeated. Got a golden sword. And a silver key. Don't know what that does, but it's probably something somewhat useful. To a treasure chest. Oh, I guess that's what the key goes in. Yeah. Ooh. Cool stuff. Invisibility cloak. What do I do with this? Can I put it on? Anywhere? No. What, what does this do? 
Oh, I can check what this does. Makes we're in completely invisible. Since bombs cannot see you, they cannot attack you. Do I just have to hold it? Like, I guess? Okay. Uh, these are not good for me. The lightning sword sounds pretty cool, too. Summons lightning to expose. Interesting. Valkyrie helmet. When fully worn, you are granted temporary flight. Quite useful for getting to high places. Or I could just, you, you know, fly. Because <laughs> I can do that. Uh, I mean, that. That's okay. No, they don't. They don't know everything about me. What are you? Ow! What? Why is my vision bad? I'm like, okay, my controls are not fully responsive now. Also, like I'm, I'm just holding spacebar right now, <laughs> just to go up. How long does this last? Forever? Like what? Do I have to drink milk to end? Okay, just end it. Cool. Uh, okay, that also looks like something. I don't. I do have a Xanite pick. I may want to get another Xanite pick before I attempt to kill the slider, since it doesn't accept Tinker's weapons to attack, if I remember correctly. Okay, another one. Cool. I think two will be enough. So that's good. Um. Do I see an entrance to this place? I do not. I go down to find it. Ooh, I can insta mine this stuff. Dang, cool. I like insta mine. Ah, <laughs> very... oh, ghost blocks. No. Oh, I found an entrance of some sort. Works for me. Oh, hello. Can I just walk in here? Cool. This is not like how it was in the other games at all. Cool. But I, I can just kill you then. I'll just go ahead and do that. Does this work? No. Yeah. Okay. Luckily, again, he deals, you know, no damage to me, so I can just sit here, move around in circles, and win. Did the pick... Oh, I think the pick broke. Okay. Two pickaxes. This is a good idea. You're dead. Get out. No! Okay, I thought I, thought I just lost the key. I would have been very upset. <laughs> is there a gold key, since there's a bronze and a silver one? You get the flaming, two flaming swords, a phoenix bow, and sentry boots. Uh, and blue swimy, blue gummy sweat? I don't really want any sweat. <laughs> How did I get in here? I just mined through the ceiling, like right there. Is there anything else in here of any importance? There's some arrow clouds. Just a bunch of chests. This is, you know, slightly less interesting than the other dungeons. But at least you can enter it easier. Like, it's not entered the same way as it was in uh, 1.7, the 1.7 version, where you had to, like, uh, enter a separate dimension. So, that's nice, at least. Makes it a bit easier f to maneuver around in. My inventory is very full. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I think with that, I'm going to leave this here. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed. If you comment any feedback you have for me, I'll see all of you later. Bye.